Well, police and crime commissioners have been around for 10 years now, and one of the major major responsibilities we have is to commission services for victims and to make sure that we commission really brilliant services for women and girls who have been victims of uh, violence. The journey so far has been one that has been, you know, it's been complex, it's been establishing ourselves as police and crime commissioners, getting to know our force areas, but really importantly, making sure we commission the right services. Well, I think we're still on a journey. There have been successes, but there's still a long way to go in really eradicating the epidemic of violence against women and girls. Some of the success has been the in increased additional funding that we've lobbied for so that police and crime commissioners are able to invest more in their local areas for victim services. We have worked incredibly well and developed that relationship with chief constables and the National Police Chiefs Council, as well as ministers. But there is a long way to go, so we'll build on our successes, but we have got to work collaboratively across the right across the partnership to make sure that we are eradicating violence against women and girls. One of the really important aspects of uh, tackling violence against women and girls is to make sure that those women and girls who are victims of sexual violence and rape get the justice that they deserve. I've been really pleased from London and through the Association of Police and Crime Commissioners to be leading Operation Satiria, an incredibly important piece of work looking at how we change and transform the way that the police and the CPS investigate and prosecute rape. There's been some fantastic work in forces and it's, it has been rolled out across the country. I'm really looking forward to how that develops, how it's, the recommendations of it are implemented and it, really importantly the impact. We want more women to be supported, to be able to take, take prosecutions forward and for the police and the CPS to do their job in terms of really investigating the perpetrator of the offences and supporting victims.